I'm exploring Weezer's bad reputation, one album at a time, and in this video we're looking at the Green Album, and how Weezer got a new label, Sellouts. After the initial failure of the band's second album, Rivers went on hiatus. When he returned, he came with a new perspective. He didn't like Pinkerton, critics didn't like Pinkerton, fans didn't like Pinkerton, let's get far away from Pinkerton. So to quote Alternative Press, whereas Pinkerton sounded like Cuomo's therapy sessions, this as yet untitled album is a little more vague. Though still featuring plenty of love songs, the frontman didn't go into nearly as much detail, instead returning to the poppy roots of the Blue Album, turning it up to 11, and just a little Pinkerton. Rivers set out to fix his mistake, but by the time he finished, it wasn't really a mistake. Pinkerton was growing a cult following. He told an interviewer, I almost feel like now that Pinkerton has become kind of successful, it's almost like we have to deal with the pressure all over again. And he was right. As the last album was slammed by critics for being too personal and self-indulgent, this one was attacked for literally the opposite. Too shallow and radio-friendly. Weezer just can't win. Check out my channel for more.